Uh, hello everyone, uh, this time we will start a uh, concurrent uh, more than two port system. So, concurrent more than two port system. That means all of my forces will be acting towards a point or away from the point. So whatever or the combination so then we need to we need to learn how to determine the resultant of these forces uh, so let us um, see an example uh, but okay before the example it is better if i revise the uh, rectangular components method so for concurrent more than two force system we will use rectangular component uh, rectangular components method but before that we need, I need to revise some force resolution so force so I need to discuss force resolution say there is a force here that is F and it is acting uh, at some angle from an axis then what is the component of this force along this way and along a perpendicular axis to this? So uh, that means what is this component? So this component we can find it using um, the uh, trigonometric rule. Uh, the trigonometric rule that you hopefully you know is that cosine theta is adjacent divided by hypotenuse sine theta is opposite by hypotenuse so this this two trigonometric function uh, I believe that you, 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 you know that if you do not know I am just uh, drawing one say if this is for a right angle triangle if one angle is 90 say this angle is theta then sine theta will be this opposite divided by this cosine theta cosine theta cosine of theta will be adjacent adjacent over this now if my angle is say not this one if my angle is say this one alpha Okay, write some name A, B, C. If my angle is this one, then cosine alpha is adjacent over hypotenuse. For this angle, adjacent is this one. That means B by C. Similarly, sine alpha is opposite over hypotenuse. For this angle, A is of opposite. So A by C. Now, if my angle is this one, say this is theta, then cosine, theta, oh sorry, this is alpha. I do not know what I just said. Uh, did I say theta or alpha? This is alpha. What about for uh, cosine theta here? Cosine theta uh, adjacent by uh, hypotenuse. So adjacent by hypotenuse. Uh, sine theta is opposite by hypotenuse so you can see that cosine alpha b by c cosine theta a by c so it is not always that cosine something is horizontal divided by hypotenuse it's not horizontal it's not vertical it's all about adjacent or not adjacent opposite so you have to see the angle first which angle you are considering so hopefully you know this trigonometric function from your high school uh, i will go and show you how to resolve the force okay so um, for uh, this one if i have to know this this side how to find it so um, then what can i do i can apply cosine uh, cosine uh, equation so cosine theta is adjacent say so this is my a so adjacent divided by 
hypotenuse. My hypotenuse here is F force. That means A will be F cosine theta. That means this height will be uh, F cosine theta. If I take the, if I want to find the vertical side, this side, say this is B. Oh, excuse me, I got a phone call. So if you have to find this side, how to find this? For this angle, so this side and this side, they are equal. So I can write this is B. So if I apply the sine rule, sine theta is opposite by hypotenuse. So B will be F sine theta. That means this side will be F sine theta. Or simply you can remember adjacent to the angle is cosine theta. Perpendicular to that side is sine theta. So then it will be easier. Do not memorize horizontal or vertical. Let me show you other example. Uh, other example is say, say my force is here now F and it is acting at alpha degree with vertical. Then what is this component? This component or what is this component? So this component is no longer cosine component. It is now not adjacent to the angle. Adjacent to the angle is this. So this will be a cosine alpha. So because this part is adjacent to the angle, this part will be uh, perpendicular to that adjacent. So this will be a sine alpha. So no longer vertical horizontal, forget this vertical horizontal. I know that in high school typically they teach in a way horizontal vertical. There is no rule of horizontal vertical is all about adjacent or not. Adjacent means cosine, not adjacent, that means perpendicular to the adjacent is um, sine. Okay, now we will see uh, the concurrent more than two force system. So concurrent more than two force system, we will use rectangular component method. Rectangular component method. So what is this same thing? We will take the component of a force. Say uh, this is my axis. Uh, forget about the x-axis or y axis, but let us see. This is very po popular to use x-axis. So this is uh, x positive, x negative, y positive, y negative. I know that you are familiar with this kind of uh, axis. Uh, system or coordinate system. So there are three forces. One force is acting here that is 100 uh, pound angle is 30 degree. Other force uh, acting the, here this way directly that value is also 100 pound. So other force is acting which way? say this way. Uh, this is again, consider it is uh, 150 and this angle say uh, 40 pound. So three forces given, why it is uh, concurrent because all are acting at a point, from a point here and it is more than two. I can, if you like, I can uh, add one more force. But at the beginning, it will be uh, complicated. Okay, so I will make some room. Now, uh, I will uh, I will explain this method using this example. Or it to make it difficult. No, no, not difficult. I three forces is good enough. I can add one more force, two more force, but do not do it. First, what we will do? We will take the rectangular components. What about the components along x-axis? What about the component along x-axis? So, what we will do? We will take summation of force, summation of force along x-axis. 
it means summation, F means first, along x-axis. This is a common symbol we use in engineering. Summation of force along x-axis. So what we will do here, we will take the uh, components of all the forces along x-axis. What? So this is my 100. What is the component here? Adjacent to the angle. That means cosine. So that and that is in uh, positive direction. So some we typically if a number if a number is a positive we do not show the sign plus. So or you can write plus no problem. Hundred cosine thirty. That is the component of this force along this way. Why it is a cosine because it adjusts into the angle. Okay. Now other force is this force. It is going negative direction. So minus. And what is the what is the angle of this force? X one is zero because it is and there is no angle here. So so zero. So you can write uh, hundred cosine zero, or you can think about it. All of my force is along this way. So uh, should I write this one? If you write it good, if you do not write it, cosine zero means actually one. So uh, actually, if you do not write it, there is no problem. If you do not write, no problem. Uh, then other force is this force. We need to take the component of this force along x-axis. Now this force is going this way. If I take the component, it will come. The, it will be this this portion. And it is in negative side. So it will be minus. Now what is the what is the component? 150 what cosine 40 or sine 40? It should be sine 40. Why? Because my angle is not here. My angle is here. So I will take. I am not taking the uh, component adjacent to the angle. I am taking perpendicular to that. So here uh, my angle will be sine 40. So 150 sine 40. 40. No other force, only 3. So I can delete it because that is x only 1. Cosine 0 means 1. Or all of, the, all of my force, not all, this force is entirely working along this way. So I will consider the full force. Okay, so with the calculation, I will do it very quickly. If there is any calculation mistake, please uh, do not mind. So 100 uh, cosine 30 minus 100 minus 150 uh, sine 40. I got a minus 100 minus uh, 109 point. Uh, 8 pound okay so this sign is important it means actually this way it means this way okay so I got my um, x component now I will find my y component so summation of force along y direction is how much plus my this force so I will take this component my angle is not this side, so it will be sine. It is positive direction, so 100. So 100 sine 30. Why sine? Because my side is not adjacent to the angle. Then uh, next force, this force. What is the component of this force along this way? Actually nothing, because it is uh, exactly uh, x. But again, if you want to follow that uh, rule, the angle here is zero. So, uh, whatever way you go, you can simply neglect this force. Why? It, you are not neglecting actually, because this force is this way. It has no component this way. So, but if you say that, okay, the, uh, uh, what is this angle? This angle is 90. So, you have to take the component of this, this way. Uh, that means a positive uh, 100 cosine 90. You can write it, but cosine 90 is 0, so it will vanish. Or you can take the angle here, a 0 degree angle, and write uh, 100 sine 0. Whatever you write, it will vanish. So it will vanish. 
so I will I will not write it. Okay, then third force is this force. This force I need to take the vertical component. So angle is here. Adjacent to the angle, uh, and it is in mm. downward ne negative direction. So minus 150 cosine 40. Why cosine? Adjacent to the angle. Okay, so I can delete this part. I can delete it now. Find the answer. Okay, again, if my calculation is wrong, do not mind because I do very quickly. Then 150 times uh, cosine 40. Uh, I got minus 64.9 pound. So you can see both cases I got. Uh, I got a negative value. Neg now what does it mean? Uh, I can delete this part because I do not need it. So it means. So in this rectangular rectangular system, in this system, my one uh, the it resulted of the all forces and x way, I have this way uh, hundred o nine point eight, and this way I have sixty four point nine pound. So that is my uh, resulting force. So I need to give a single value. So how to find the single value? Single means the combined uh, the resultant. So I will delete this portion to make some room. Okay. So my resultant will be here. If I draw a rectangle or parallelogram, this will be my resultant. So here it will be that whatever I got summation of force along x is square plus summation of force along y is square. So this, now how you learn from uh, the previous equation if it is p, if it is q, uh, if the angle is alpha, the resultant is p square, q square, twice p q cosine alpha use for this equation. Now, if your alpha is 90, if this is 90 degree, so R is simply P square plus Q square, because cos 90 is 0. So it is simply P square plus Q square. Okay, so find the uh, value 109.8 square. You can use the negative sign, you can neglect because it is e square, it will vanish. Uh, or best way is to visualize where your force is. Is it in this way or in this way or in this way? Okay, then minus 64.9 pound. So if I do the calculation, 109.8, I got 127. 127.5 pound. So this is the value of your resultant. So this value, this value is 107.5. This is the magnitude of the resultant. The, after combining all these three forces, this is the resultant value. But we need to know the direction also, the direction. How to find this angle or this angle, whatever angle is. Typically, we try to find the angle with respect to horizontal axis, so this angle. So if it is theta, say, if it is theta, how to find it? So angle, you can find it using this rule. Tan inverse, summation of Fy, summation of Fx. Now what does this symbol mean? This symbol means forget the sign. That is whatever the sign of, uh, sign of this positive negative, forget it. Now, just take the value, take the value. Uh, the reason now, if you omit this, still it will be okay. If, if you use your sign here, it will be okay, no problem. But then you will not be able to visualize. You know, sometimes uh, you, uh, you have to depending on the trigonometric function or calculator. In that case, it is complicated and it gives uh, wrong, uh, 
Uh, sometimes you may not be able to interpret, but this is the easiest. Do not consider the sign here. Do not consider the sign here. Just take the value. Then I, I will show you how to look at this. Uh, okay, so tan inverse on uh, my FY was 64.9 and X was 109.8. Now I am. So that, what is my angle? If I do quickly, again, if I make calculation mistake, do not mind. I do very quickly. I got 30.6 degree. So 30.6 degree. Now the question is, where is that 36 degree? So in this axis, is it here or is it here? or is it here or is it here? That means which angle, which angle is 36 degree? How to find it? That I recommend you to, to do manually, visually. Huh? What you got here? You got your summation of fx is negative, this way. You got your summation of fy negative, this way. That means you got this way and you got this way. Then this will be your angle. If we use y upper x lower, that means with respect to x. So this will be your angle. So this is your angle. Here, yeah. 36 point, th uh, sorry, 30 point, 30 point 6 degree. This will be your angle. In fact, sometimes in your FE exam, you might get a question, summation of fx is minus this, summation of fy is minus this. Which of the following is the correct uh, result in orientation? They, one they will show you here, one they will show you here, one they will show you here, one they will show you here. You have to pick it. So, okay, we will practice more uh, so that it will be clear. So this component is good for concurrent concurrent more than two force if it is only two force yes you can do it if it is two force you can do it if it is three four five six doesn't matter uh, whatever the number of force doesn't matter as long as it is concurrent you can use this method the name is rectangular component very popular method very powerful in your fe exam there is a guarantee you will get a question uh, from this method okay so i will continue more video um, uh, on this on, on this topic.